Oh, oh, shh, shh. It's about to start. Oh, oh, 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 shh. Oh, shh. It's about to start. You're mocking oh, oh, me, sh- aren't you? <laughs> oh, I love Toy Story 2, the N64 game. I think from Toy Story 2. That's, that's from Toy Story 1. You didn't even get it right. No, that was in the Toy Story 2 game. Oh, was it? You're mocking yeah, her, he, aren't you? Yeah, oh, he used that voice clip. Me, Why do they use it? That's from Toy Story 1. That's a bad game. Yeah, they didn't he used that clip. Why? That's yeah, from the... Buzz, Buzz idols, and he's like, you're mocking me, aren't you? It happens. They Listen, should've... I'll load it up right now. We'll we'll turn this into like a N64 Toy Story 2 stream. You're going to regret your Dad, words. Dad, I think you're getting trolled. Oh, Dad. Dad. You're going to regret these words where yeah. when, when I make my 40 minutes Toy Story 2 for the N64 takedown video work, <laughs> where I where, where, where I am completely joyless for the entire 40 minutes. Everyone said, that was a good video. Hello, everyone. What? <laughs> Hello, everyone. John here from Nintendo Life, showing you the best game ever made since Batman Wonderworld. <laughs> Toy Story 2 is garbage in here, why? Hello, watch everyone. Me jump on, on, watch me jump in air and it falls down and it comes back up. Like a I'm gonna screech. I'm gonna screech if you do that. I'm oh, gonna spit you ass at you. Just, just like dry bones. Just like dry bones. Hello, you. Oh, I got a text message. Hello, you crazy people. Welcome to another exciting episode of Ready to Start the Podcast. I'm Ryan Riveti. Who else is here? <clears throat> I'm Rosa. I've been banned. <laughs> I- I'm Shrek. <laughs> And I'm Aaron. I, I broke into the studio. Like, at 12 in the morning. So thanks, Skeletons, do that. Well, I can't yeah. believe we have Band Rosa, Shrek, and Forbidden Aaron here. Yeah. Forbidden? Forbidden skeleton Aaron. Well, yeah, it's like, we don't usually like the Skeletons when they come out in this place. Yeah. Usually it's... Technically, we're I just, going got, I just got out of the closet, come on! <laughs> <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little more used to skin around here. There's a lot of skin walking around here. Oh, yeah, you better be careful for that. Skin the seeps and looking for a new host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Skin the Seep, actually. I don't know. I don't really like that guy. <laughs> They're like you. Not really. Skin the Seep's kind of like. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, they're it's really. It's like your Shadow <sighs> Mario to Mario. They really, they're really into, like, Starfy. And they like talk about Starfy. They talk about Starfy lore all the time. They're kind of working on some animations about Starfy. True. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like, know about that. Was it like a parallel seep that just broke into this universe? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't you, know. You, you, you can choose to believe that. I mean, I, I believe anything. I believe anything at this point. Hey, can you all stop talking about Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> Bernard from Craig of the Creek? You know, he's really like a Squidward, but I need some. You could make Bernard a Metopia, right? Well, you can make, you can make a lot of things. Could I don't you know make Bernard though? I'll do a really funny Bernard from Craig of the Creek bit. Um, I Cra- can't do that. Craig, I trained to study with my girlfriend for the pizza exam. I'm trying to save up for college, Craig. <laughs> this is my Bernard from Craig of the Creek joke. Do you like it? Which one is Bernard? He's I don't. Older, I haven't seen that show a lot. Yeah, he's, he's the older brother. He's the older brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Leo likes Bernard. Craig, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Craig. a good Phil Lamar voice. I don't sound like Phil Lamar. Craig, are you playing Fortnite? Uh, Craig? Playing. I, I don't... I, Craig, I'm playing Fortnite. <laughs> Shut up a lot. Why? I, um, there's like a... What does a Clarence guy sound like in that show? The Clarence yeah. guy, JP, the guy who's Clarence. JP, yeah, you know exactly who I was talking uh, about. He's like, so he's like, ah, jeez, oh, Clarence, I can't do JP. Ah, oh, jeez, Clarence, you're missing out on all the fun if you don't come down to the creek today. Wow, my gosh, I scared a pizza there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> JP sort of sounds like Rao Cow. Does, does he? I don't know. Did you talk about Rao I mean, Cow yeah, last they... time? Maybe. You know, I love Rao Cow. I probably talked about Rao Cow once. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna get mad at us for using content. What? They keep thinking I'm built. They keep thinking I'm grim. Grim? Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm grim from grim from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Oh, uh, grim from Grim and Evil. 
I thought you meant our oh, friend. Grim and Evil, Grim and Evil, my bad. He's still floating up there. Oh my god. Everyone, right, here's your fucking Bernardo, you all happy? Stop talking about him. That's not Bernard. What? That's, that's the Bernard. That's Bernard from Craig of the Creek, who's that? Yeah. That's Bernard. Bernard? Yeah. News! Let's talk about the news! What's the news? Yeah! Okay, what's new? What's going on? What's new? <laughs> so, a very big crossover happened this week. What? I don't know what you're about to say. So, Seven Deadly Sins crossed over with Stranger Things. <laughs> I've not watched. I, I have not. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. About I have that. not consumed the media of either of those things. <laughs> Who's with Stranger Things? Seven Deadly. Seven reasons why. Yes, <laughs> it's not seven. Well, it's seven deadly sins, like an anime or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's some shonen anime. I don't know how it works. Was this the All shit that? Oh, I know the shit. It was in Yokai Watch Puni Puni. <laughs> We're really yeah, losing everybody. Watch. Yeah, we yeah. gotta start talking about like SpongeBob. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we gotta like, talk about many SpongeBob episodes. We oh. added like four characters from Stranger Things to like that game, that mobile game. Do they add Finn Wolfhard? From Finn Ghostbusters L. Afterlife? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. But you were like, oh, we're losing everyone. Better do the Ghostbusters Afterlife bit. <laughs> Did you see the leaked set photos where they have little Stay Puffed mini Marshmallow Man? No. I'm so hyped for that. Wait I'm a so minute! Hyped. Hold on! Yo-Kai watched it then, too. Everyone, there's a, there's a, so if you don't haven't played Yokai Watch, there's a uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow boss based off Whisper, and he unleashes like little mini versions of himself all over the battlefield. Are you saying they? Are you saying Ghostbusters Sony P Picture Productions stole from Yokai Watch? Yeah, I'm yeah. saying that exactly. They stole everything. Yeah, they should have taken pursuit legal action on that one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me prove it. Let me get him on screen. Yeah, let's see, All right, let's see I, didn't, no, I, I believe you. I this believe little, everything you say about Yokai okay, Watch. This little mini guy, he shoots out. <laughs> Let me get the guy himself. I mean, it looks kind of like a like a shiitake mushroom. Kind of does, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. You're gonna, your minds are about to be blown and to smithereens. And then here, here's the whisper boss. Here's the smithereens. You did Nightmare Before Christmas, you know. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you showed me this. I forgot all about it. All these forms Isn't of... Is that the Whisper. Michelin Man? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Yeah, it's a Michelin Man. Stay puffed. Uh, whisper. So, Russ, yeah. do, do, you have, do you have anything else to say about the Seven Deadly Sins <laughs> Stranger Things crossover? Like, like, I'm impressed that like they managed to get like more than two characters to like be part of that that line up like so yeah they got like the one cop like so yeah he has guns and like honestly 11 or l well yeah of course he has his second power but they like oh those two kids and they used to like D, &D props that's that's sure or something huh babe i love I you mean, yeah. i don't know anything about i don't Pretty know cool. any, i don't know anything about this whatsoever like this is i completely i haven't seen a single image of this crossover <laughs> no, I, I just looked up the image and it's it's uh it's something yeah. It looks pretty I've epic, seen, actually. i only seen, like, the first two seasons of, like, Stranger Things, and then just, like, I'm gonna skip out on the third one. Alright, but let me ask... How many are there? We already, we already have three images on the screen. But let me let me ask, um, a question here. What's better? Uh, Seven Deadly Sins with Stranger Things are Inazuma Eleven with the Minions. Minions. I, 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 I say minions. We got one vote for minions. Was that the thing where? Wait, was that when like Despicable Me Two was coming out or something? And there's like they had like the apple juice commercial in Japan or something. Yeah, it was like a bumper. No, oh, so what they were is um, in the Zoom Eleven, which is a Japanese anime, was like switching time slots. In ban Japan. that guy. Hold on. How do I ban people? Just click on. If you're a mod, you just click on them and you can uh go to mod view and ban them. How to become famous? Um, yeah, I'll do it. Hold on, don't nobody, don't no, 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 no. I want to do this. I want to do this. Bam! Right. Awesome, I great job. It. All right, here, here. what are you talking about? Uh, so yeah, Inazuma Eleven, which is a Japanese anime, uh, was. Oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, next new topic. <laughs> we got. 
uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Bedrock by Elizabeth Banks. Um, <laughs> you just don't. Uh, she's gonna three. be. There's gonna be a new. You need to what? explain this better. Uh, Bedrock. Okay, so Flintstones is getting rebooted. Um, we're new Flintstones reboot. I know every, everyone loves this Flintstones so much. They're all everyone's so excited for this, and it's gonna be about um, Fred reaching a point in his life where he's getting ready to retire. And uh, Pebbles, the little girl, is grown up, and she's going to be an independent woman girl boss. Freaking uh, serial characters. I can't wait to eat all of my Flintstones vitamin go vitamins gummies while watching this with my Flintstones shirt and my Flintstones hat and my my club that looks like Fred Flintstones club. That's going to be great. Bam, bam. Now, this is going to be on Fox, right? It's yeah. going to be like a primetime Fox show. Is it? I thought it was going to be like an uh, HBO Max. I thought it said Fox. You think really? everything's going to be on HBO Max? I don't know. I don't know. Something is out. You're like, it's on HBO Max. Let me look. That was the old That's one, right? That was the old one being made by Seth MacFarlane. Oh. That was not What? Yes. I swear, it was a, it's Fox, right? Yeah, it's Fox. You're right. Yeah, it's Fox. On oh. Fox. So, um, yeah, so we could get a little, you know, a little risque with it if we want. Ah, oh, man, who's hyped? It's gonna be really funny when this show is airing at the same time um, as like those serial commercials with Fred Flintstone. It's like Fred's gonna be saying like shit in the show, and then there's gonna be like those commercials like yabba dabba tabba do, yabba dabba yeah. swing. <laughs> You're gonna have like the Cocoa Puffs commercials where every, where they have like the kids looking at li this li this real Fred Flintstone. Real? 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 What do you mean? Real. Like, like he, he's just plus some gets real. Yeah, like gets real. So, uh -huh. what's, so even more important than Bedrock, uh, do you think they killed Yabba Dabba dinosaurs for this to happen? Is that, what was that? Um, yeah. Oh, you don't know Yabba Dabba dinosaurs? No, I don't. Is that what you're trying to? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that like the a, creator of Yabba Dabba Dinosaur? It's a Yabba Dabba Dinosaur creator. Show yourself. If not, it does not exist anymore. Well, uh, now. We gotta explain Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs. So, uh, Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs was going to be another Flintstones reboot uh, that was going to be on Hanna Barbera, uh, everyone's favorite channel. Um, yeah, awesome. And it was uh, it was going to you also mean on Hanna Barbera. I mean on Boomerang. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it was going to Sorry. be a reboot starring Pebbles and Bam Bam, just as this new one was. What's the obsession with like a show about Pebbles? <laughs> what does everyone want a Pebbles show? Oh. Well, because I, I think, well, I think the thing is, I think Fred and like Barney and Wilma, I think it, there's a feeling that they've been explored thoroughly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, like we know who they are, we know everything about them. But Pebbles is kind of like a blank slate where you just kind of like, because she's a baby, so you can just like. Oh, we're gonna have her be an adult, and we can do like literally whatever we want, and yeah, like she, nobody can be mad about prime it. Prime main character material. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Flintstones is just a prequel to just you know anything else that comes after. Really, yeah, it's I mean, it's just all it's all Dino set up. Uh, someone's asking if a pilot got released for this. Yes, and I'm pretty sure they had a whole season done, and they just never released it. Yeah, yeah. of the Avatar Dinosaurs. Yeah. There's, right now they're. Maybe it'll get like the Star Wars detour treatment. I don't think this is I'm the gonna... young Sheldon. I'm gonna be honest with you, Rosa. I don't think this is getting the Star Wars detour. I don't think anyone's gonna care enough about this. Yeah, we'll, we'll make not, them care. I'm not Watch as obsessed. Me. I'm not as obsessed. Um, I mean, so you asked if like if you think that got canceled in favor of Elizabeth Banks' new Bedrock show. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I mean, do you think it has something to do with when was the last show like Boomerang had? Oh, Boomerang. I, I, uh, I feel like. It... Let's look. Let's go look right now. Okay. They had like the wacky racist show. I feel like that must have been the last one they did. Was that before or after Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs? Uh, I wonder if they just kind of gave up on that channel altogether. Wouldn't and just kind of canceled it's everything else. You could do with that. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like. It's it's like you need to like pay like premium for it or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it's like, it's mostly obscure cartoons at this point. It's just like I mean reruns of old older I, cartoons. I think. I can't right. Find like 
Okay, right there we go. Programming. <laughs> uh, the Scooby Doo and Guess Who is their most recent show, and it started premiering. It premiered on October first, twenty twenty. It's recent. But that is also what? that's also the only thing new that they're airing is Scooby Doo and <laughs> Guess Who. <laughs> Oh no! Oh boy. Uh, they are, oh dear. I mean, yeah. They are currently rerunning the Tom and Jerry show, <laughs> New Looney Tunes, and Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. I, I wonder if it's just like a thing that's just on the decline. Chad um, wants Flintstone. That really wants the Pebbles cartoon to come out. They're going to start a hash. I mean, yeah. You know what? I think I think it should be released. I think yeah. it's. Everyone's all talked about Infinity Train right now, but where's the love for Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs? Where, where's Honest the love? to God. Hashtag um, save Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs. Speaking of Infinity Train, is the embark- can we talk about Pig Baby finally? Yeah, I know we'll, you're we'll, really we'll talk about, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about it in a second. I do want to, you know, I you know, I feel like, we could, I I don't know. Flintstones is such a weird thing, because I always feel like such a bitch where like, I don't give a shit about the Flintstones, but I feel like... I don't know. Is Flintstones a popular? Maybe it is, and I'm just not looking in the right places. I just feel like even kids don't care about this shit now. No, I don't. Flintstone I haven't seen a kid obsessed with the Flintstones in my life. Uh, I, I mean, like I think Family Guy, but before Family Guy existed, it's like a group. Right. I I think it's something where, like, most people like appreciate like its place in history. Um, but I don't know if it's something that people like. I feel like most people who like Flintstones probably are just content with watching reruns of the old show. And, like, yeah. I don't know if anyone's hankering for, like, a new version of it. Oh, man, but... I'm, so, I'm so excited for the for the Bedrock cartoon. <laughs> oh, oh. But, I mean, you know, it's like... It, things could be, like, an unexpected surprise, you know? It's gonna be over this for everyone. This could be the best... When Ostruck this Fox could be this could be better than... This could be... <laughs> it's gonna be better than Duncanville. <laughs> is that possible? Is that possible though? Now, Steve, can I ask you a question? Where's Where's Duncanville on the scale of quality? Um, can we have every? Can you pull up a tier list right now? What like, did, what did what you? Kind of why did you block the term Dilfstone? You know, I didn't think anyone was gonna see that, but I tested it to see what is gonna happen. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> so Duncan Bill's like a solid C minus, right? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Who said that? Well, that was solid C minus. Solid right. C minus. Yeah. That's a bit harsh. Also, shut the fuck up! It's like deleted, like blocked. Why is that? What happened there? What? I'm I'm looking at like the what? blocked words and like the permitted terms. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the permitted terms. Uh huh. And like. N64 GA? I don't know. We can't say we can't say these words in chat. Someone someone in chat is only five. Why is. Uh, I think it's because somebody tried saying N64 gay once and it was being really weird. And I had to like write the word N64 ga to allow them to say it. <laughs> Can we get some N64 gays in the chat? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be full. It's gonna be full of N64 gay. I'm gonna be honest. Was Ugly Betty that ugly? <laughs> Where'd that ugly come Betty? from? I'm just thinking about it. Was she that ugly? Um, <laughs> Were we talking about the know. Flintstones? I don't How know. did we get here? She wasn't really. She wasn't really. I was thinking. I, don't think I guess so. I was thinking of Barney's wife, Betty Rubble. Why? <laughs> Betty Rubble. <laughs> ugly <laughs> Betty. Okay. Look at a picture of Ugly Betty. Can, we, can, put a, can you put a picture of Ugly Betty on the screen? Absolutely not. <laughs> we're going to be... We're going to fill the screen. I, I just want to say, you, you think... said it should be at least as good as Duncanville. Duncanville's a C-. Uh, Flintstone's bedrock is not much to work towards. I never said it was a C minus. I did. You're like putting words. I don't know what you're talking about. Then you're not me. I am me. You're nothing like me. <laughs> We're not even like next to each other on the screen. That's it. I'm gonna. Ooh, you've done it now. Oh no. Oh no. Even Kurt Ryan's wrath. 
This is Brian's fury. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, check this out. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! What are you doing right now? I'm next to you now. <laughs> it looks like you're like my Echo Fighter. It's like, like a mini like, 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 like Final Fantasy Familiar or something. Fighting what is this? Assist. <laughs> it's it's Shape's Minion or something. Exactly. It should make like a little like baby version of Riot. To be like on like on my shoulder or something. I don't get it. Like I, you do like special attacks. Like that yeah. nano thing from like Fusion Full. Would it would it from would she uh, parrot everything yeah. that she hears? What's your favorite Fusion Pirate. Fall nano? Which ones were there? How did we get was here? There Powerpuff girls? Yeah, there was. i uh, Rosa just talked about the uh hold um, on. Uh let's see. Uh, can you get a list? I don't like I don't like Eddie that much. I'm looking at them right now. I don't, I'm not a fan of Eddie. Got to say that. I can put him on screen. Yeah, I don't like a fusion. I don't know about that. It's all okay. All right, let me put the fusion fault on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> let me put the fusion fault nanos on screen for you. Yeah, I gotta choose one. This is like, oh, look at all, look at all that. I'd say this. I don't I... like the gumball. I don't want. I would never want Mordecai floating next to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why not, dude? Come on, man. Use your, use your mana attack, bro. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know. That's man, what he that, say. That gumball in Darwin would make me really uncomfortable. I don't. I like I like courage because he looks like he's going. He's like he's sniffy like a dog. He's like <laughs> like right up against the screen. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly like that. You, look at the blue. <laughs> Rigby, you know, I'm gonna buy the red bean and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> the blue one is really good. Man. Probably... No, there's some good ones. There's some there's some strange ones. Why does why does blue look like that? Why does blue look why is blue looking at me like that? Why does Dexter look like that? That's not what Dexter looks like. Oh, he's like an anime boy in this game. He's like he's like four, oh, yeah. he's like twenty years old in this game or something. I, I know, design. but like, is it a is it a thing of the nanos like they're closer to the original designs, like Finn? I have no idea. You remember, yeah, well, whatever, like, uh, yeah. rewritten for like Fusion Pro. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I joined that. I joined that. They had the Adam and Jake. Artwork. Yeah, I'm gonna say something maybe controversial. I don't think any of the Adventure Time characters look that good in Fusion Pro. <laughs> oh, they don't. The Jake only one I remember all the top of my head is, is Jake. He's terrible. Jake, Jake kind of looks like he just like I... ripped a, ripped off like a website or something. The artistic choice of the Fusion Fall characters for Adventure Time is weird to me because like the whole idea is they're supposed to be adapted to be more anime esque, and I feel like Adventure Time already has very kind of anime esque designs that should be like easier to adapt. But some, I, they made some very particular choices with them, and they all just look weird. Oh my god, they do. I'm looking at Finn, and he's like, they've kept his oh, eyes really oh, far apart. Gone. Oh my, that's grotesque! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Sans Undertale! Oh, the snail! The Look snail. at the snail! I just see the snail has like the eyes on the eye stalks. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I guess that's a normal snail, but like, it's weird. I'm say... just looking at images on Google Images without yeah. anyone being able to see them. Yeah, well, no one, no one's gonna so be able to see them. link. It. <laughs> I'm gonna look for look for. A... Someone just like a Doctor Who episode. Is that <laughs> really? I wonder if they want us to watch it. Let's all watch this. <laughs> no, watch this. Put it on the <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. We can't. We, can't. we gotta stay on topic. We gotta... Yeah, we have to get back on topic. We're not... Next yeah. bit. Next fucking bit. Ah, all right. Let's talk. Jesus. Oh, we can. I can. I can use this as a smooth transition. Uh, speaking of uh, Adventure Time, uh, the trailer. For yeah. uh, Adventure Time, uh, the next like uh, the next of the mini series uh, together again uh, came the out. Next chapter, and uh, it's oh, a yeah. it's a very yeah, short I'm... trailer. Um, it reveals like nothing about the special, <laughs> and it comes out very soon. Mm -hmm. Very very soon. I wasn't expecting it. it God, jump scare. Nowhere. Yeah, jump scare. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting it. Um. But yeah, 
So uh, uh, coming out. The way they designed the way they designed these uh, specials is uh, Wizard City was supposed to be next, and that was the uh, Peppermint Butler one. But uh, something happened within like inside that made them make the Finn and Jake one next, and now Wizard City is last. Yeah. Huh. Well, what happened was everyone thought. Well, everyone expected Wizard City to be the third one. Um, but the, what happened was there was originally only going to be three. Yeah. And Wizard City was added like um, after they started the first three episodes. So now that one, that one's like not even finished yet. I, so, sw- I swore they it's probably said... going to come out in like six months. I like swore uh, they said somewhere it was going to be the third one, but maybe I misremembered. I th- I think like that's how like most news outlets like mm-hmm. they put them in that order, but I don't think they said spe- specifically that they were coming out. It just said like uh, the first two are coming out this year, and then the next two are coming out next year. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Oh. I guess it's interesting, so, yeah. because uh, Together Again looks very much thematically, oh. it's supposed to be the last one. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Right. Right. And, I mean, like, it was it was gonna be, too. Yeah. It's just that they're, now, now it's like, it, it's kind of funny. Mm. Um, I pointed this out, it's like the, the post-finale Adventure Time specials are going to have their own post-finale <laughs> special yeah. in Wizard City. <laughs> Um, which is interesting, it's, but like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's funny to think the last piece of Adventure Time media ever might be a Peppermint Butler special. <laughs> yeah, um, but unless like, they make more, I don't, bad, I don't know. Very that's not important a, character. That's not a bad thing. I just think it's funny. That's like a funny character to end everything on. Yeah, and I mean, it's got to be in like the. It seems like it's going to deal with a lot of like magic characters and. You know, I, I was actually really looking forward to that one, mm. and um, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it just kind of just came out of nowhere that this next one's coming out. Uh, to be yeah, frank, though, be, they're renting it off so they could. Uh, I, I do agree. I do agree. That I I think there'll probably be more Adventure Time stuff in the future. <laughs> well, there has yeah. to be, right? Uh-huh. It's pretty I mean, popular. Who well, no, knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll do like a series based on like different parts of Adventure Time. Or like different characters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what yeah. this is. As people are saying so. here, the Peppermint Butler show will be coming, and that's what the, <laughs> that's what the <laughs> very, very finale is. In. My name is Peppermint Butler, and I am proud to I'm proud be. to be. <laughs> back in my hometown. So I mean, that's, what, that's what we said about the other ones. Like, they're kind of like, they are, they're almost like pilots for like, yeah. they could be like their own spinoffs, honestly. Yeah. Another Marshall miniseries would be good. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. I want to, I want to throw out a crazy prediction about uh, together again. Maybe this is, maybe this is, maybe this is wild. Uh, I think everything we saw in that trailer is from the beginning, which is going to be a flashback. Like everything we saw that like every last Mm -hmm. thing, and then, and then it'll transition to like we're kind of more of an older Finn. And it will be about that. That's my that's my, that's my right. that's my wacky theory. It's kind of wacky, but I think I think it could happen. There's been there's some been yeah. some before in Adventure Time like that. I I, I do believe you because all the designs for I think Finn is the best indicator of like when things take place. Yeah, because it's all um everything they yeah everything they showed of Finn is like designs that would have been before the finale and even in like the Distant Lands poster. Um, which seems like it has, it, like, they updated it, and it seems like it has, like, all the, like, up-to-date designs for the yeah. characters. And Finn is, like, he's, like, wearing different clothes and, like, everything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a really interesting curveball to throw. As, as silly as it sounds, the thing that made me think about this was the, was the Adventure Time drip image they shared. <laughs> that showed, uh, that older, <laughs> that, sh- that showed the, uh, older Finn from, uh, from uh, Obsidian at the end with like Jake, and I'm like, oh, maybe that's what it'll be about. <laughs> it's like an older fan with Jake. <laughs> you think that's like official? It's an official promo. I, I, I doubt. I doubt it, but but it made me think about it. Like fan art. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty legit theory, though. I like that. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think Jake's gonna die? 
Not in this, no. I don't think that I don't think they showed Jake dying. No. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. They pretty much said like if Jake were to die, he would have died of old age and expand and then filled up the earth. Mm -hmm. It was more like a. What, I mean, assuming that's shows creators have said right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like they could change that if they want to. Because a, a, a thematic thing throughout Adventure Time is Jake is often very thematically tied to death, but he never actually dies. He comes close to dying a lot, and he gets like he's associated with death a lot, but he never actually dies. And I, I, I think he they never actually show him dying though, despite that. Yeah, there's gonna be a yeah. there's gonna be a twist though when when the when the death scene actually happens at the end, and we're gonna be like, oh, what? How did what? I think there definitely be there's definitely gonna be a scene. At the very least, there's gonna be a scene where it like seems like like Jake is dying and everyone like uh live tweeting it at midnight. He's <laughs> gonna be like posting the screen cap of like and Jake and Finn's arms. Jake crying gif. I remember I did that with Obsidian. Yeah. Uh I watched that like as soon as it came out, like at midnight. <laughs> I was watching everyone's like live tweets like uh -huh. watch a bit after me and I saw so many tweets about the Jake tattoo. <laughs> Just like you <people>, you <laughs> losing their mind about it. Oh, yeah. Ah. Here's just one yeah. more question about Adventure Time. If they were to do, like, another round of these, like, four more, what four characters would you want, uh, would you want specials about? That's a good oh, question. That's, that's a good question. That is really good. Um, tough. probably, um, probably, I think it makes sense to Simon. Absolutely, yeah. Simon probably a good mm -hmm. one. Simon is, like, a continuation sort of thing. I feel like they're gonna uh, add in like a Shermie and Beth episode. I was gonna say Shermie and Beth too. Yeah, they maybe do like one of Shermie and Beth. Oh yeah, I would I would love that. That's such How about this? Candy Person number sixty. <laughs> chat say chat say <laughs> beat the punk. It's punk. about time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they yeah. show sure me and Beth too, because uh Marcel and Bubblegum are still around at that. That'd be like a good excuse to bring them back too. That could be like that, really, could, that could double right. as another like Marceline bubblegum kind of appearance for people. I really, I really dream of. I, I think, I think they could do that where like they bring back like a really, really, really obscure and minor like Adventure Time character and they just put him into a special. I would hope. I would. I would. They give him his own that. special. Mm -hmm. Flame Princess. That's a good one. Flame Princess is also good. Oh, yeah. Uh, if they didn't, if they didn't do, if Huntress Wizard is it in any of the next two. I think it'd be cool if they do want her because she got added to the cast very late. <laughs> yeah, right. So if she isn't yeah. in like any of the upcoming ones, she I wouldn't be surprised she's in Wizard City at least because she's you know a wizard. But uh, I see a lot of Lumpy right. Space Princess. I like Lumpy Space Princess, but mm -hmm. I don't know if yeah. I could watch a whole forty minute special about Lumpy Space Princess if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel she's a very she could be kind of grating. I mean, I love like, her. Maybe maybe she's in like, like short bursts. I yeah. will say that. Yeah. Character. I mean, they did have one with BMO. Which I, I think BMO's a bit... A bit well. I like BMO. I like BMO. I like BMO. I, like I, BMO's I think BMO works because he's a yeah, bit more... Yeah. They're a bit more down-to-earth, and uh, they paired him with a kind of more uh, character for the audience to relate to, which they could do with Lumpy yeah. Space Princess, possibly, if they kind of mm -hmm. introduce a character for her to be with. Mm -hmm. Plus we they have, have Turtle Princess. Before. Turtle Princess. There you go. And with the... Well, actually, that'd be rough with Simon. <laughs> Nepter special. Yeah. The Nepter special. Shelby. Oh, uh, Nepter's so nice. New uh, Ice, Ice King. Couple. That's a good one. I love. I would love. I hope the new. I that I. I really hope the new Ice King is in uh, Wizard City. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, he should. Right. I mean, uh, that makes sense. Um. But but I don't know. I I just really. I think he's funny looking. Like seeing him in the background would be pretty funny. Uh, I like the notion he's that professor that that, Gu that Gunter wished to become Ice King. I think that's a funny concept. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Lady Ranicorn hasn't been in any of the specials yet either. Which may maybe she'll be in one of them. I don't know. I don't know if you could do a whole special about her, but I hope she appears soon. Oh yeah, they should. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I, I mean, I guess with the first two, I don't know like where she would have shown up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I hope she chance. gets. I, mean, she's, I think I they can give her a chance. Maybe yeah. in the next one. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What about Lemon Grab? I think. 
I don't know. Mm. Let me grab something. Honestly, how, many, how do you show up in these two? Honestly, the thing with Lemon Grab, I feel like he's been pretty thoroughly explored already. Yeah. I, yeah, all the lemons have pretty much. They, um. Well, like, I rarely see him get yeah, in like and, like, hear him more. They can do a mm-hmm. special about, uh, uh, fucking Cupcake Guy. Cupcake Guy. <laughs> Mr. Cupcake. Mr. Cupcake. <laughs> Yeah, they should do like a whole like it's like a backstory. It's like a backstory episode, an origin story for Mr. Cupcake. <laughs> Witness the so epic young origin guy. story. <laughs> it's like they did for Comic could... Book Guy. I love how I could just think of numerous like minor characters from this fucking show, and I could just be like, they're the main character now. Another I... root beer. Honestly, guy yeah. Guy episode. Another root beer guy episode. <laughs> yeah, you know, another mystery to solve. That'd be yeah. <laughs> that'd be a bold one to do. It's like it's a psychic guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, bango. I, you know, I think that's a neat thing with Adventure Time. There's like so many different corners of the world that they made. Yeah. Where you can just do just like vastly different things. Like, yeah, you can I don't put know. anyone in the spotlight and it's like it makes sense. You yeah. can just go with both of what their life is going through, yeah. I think this show has enough yeah. interesting characters or like just kind of concepts they can do. For, like, if they want to do four more of these, I think they probably could. Oh yeah, definitely. I would support like, it. I think they should. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I and I, w- I would love like, um, just like to look at less central characters in the show. But that is, even that's deeper. very fun that they kind of. I kind of like that every episode of this kind of mini series is about a completely different like group of characters and like characters aren't. I don't know. It's fun to like, save, like yeah get very focused. They were stuff. supposed to save for Finn and Jake for the end, but. That would have been that would have been a nice touch, I think. Yeah, yeah, but then again, they'd probably that would probably mean delaying oh, it all by like a year. Oh yeah, would it be worth it? No. <laughs> well, they can yeah. they can throw in uh, a bonus episode about a uh, fucking uh, TV. George. Yeah. <laughs> George. Oh, well, TV. At, at the end of the. Series, he has like a detective agency. So, like, legitimately, uh, you could actually do something, like have like a like a mystery like a parody, thing. like a parody mystery yeah. thing, you know? Yeah, and he like goes all over like the land of Ooh. He talks a different. You could actually do that. They can do Patience yeah. Saint Pim. Patience Saint Pim. What what what, is, what was uh, she doing last we saw her? She like put She's herself frozen. in an orb. <laughs> yeah, so you, you could see her in like the future. In the last episode. There we go. She could be so, in the Sherby and Beth episode. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, legitimately. <laughs> 40 minutes of patience and ice. Yeah. It'll be <laughs> like a Bojack. <laughs> Mr. Fake Dad. special. Dad, I'm in the bubble. Dad. Dad, Dad get me out of the bubble. Come on. We're done. I feel like a Mr. Pig special would be about... Because like, he used to eat people. Yeah, like he used to work with like Jake. You can intertwine that with Jake's backstory. You know, yeah. speaking of Mr. Pig, there was another uh, hit Cartoon Network show with a pig in it that came out <laughs> in a very uh, inopportune time for our last podcast that we couldn't talk about, but now we can. Uh, would you all like to talk about uh, Infinity Train Book Four and also the uh, future of Infinity Train? Absolutely. Oh, wait, I thought we were yeah. going to talk about Mario Party. You know, that makes sense to talk about next, but I had such a smooth transition. We're going to talk about this one first. <laughs> it's just yeah, smooth. So, like, I had such a smooth transition. I would have, you were taking it. I got to move. We got to right. move. Yeah. Right. We're, this is a smooth episode. So, uh, I guess just baseline thoughts. What did you think of book four? I liked it. Yeah. I, I will say that I liked it. It wasn't as like heavy as the other two, but I think I think that I think that worked out for it for me at least. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like it was like supposed to be like a breathing period before to get into like more heavier yeah. parts. Yeah, well, yeah, legitimately you know. was. So you know how that went down. So what Rosa said there is exactly what was supposed to happen. Uh, this was supposed to be a much lighter book because it was being placed in between two much heavier books, which was a uh, book three. And now uh, you know if you've seen book three. Uh, you you know what shit happens in book three. Um, 
Oh, yeah. And uh, book, yeah. book five was supposed to be very Amelia-centered, so that'd probably be very heavy. And the, the idea with this one, it was a bit of a bit of a lighter breathing season in between two much more heavier seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, and that's a little pattern break. Yeah. And that makes it very hard to judge this one, because this is potentially the last one ever, if like, you know, things don't work out. And you know, maybe as a bit, maybe as the last book ever, maybe this one feels like weaker than it actually is, just because it does, it, it like was accidentally yeah. put in the finale spot when it wasn't supposed to, which makes it a bit hard to judge. But overall, I'd say I like it. Yeah, I would say yeah. like if you were gonna like rewatch it or like recommend so I would say you like that would be the the book you recommend second. I I don't know. I think you could watch them in order pretty easily. <laughs> I know, but like, like with the way where it takes place and like with the info, like the first book given, like yeah, you know, yeah, maybe work in like I don't know, second. maybe I'm such a stickler for watching order though, <laughs> so maybe maybe yeah, I'm different. Yeah. And like as of right now, for like if it, that's all there is, so like yeah, it could go for a second. And we got to talk about the most important part of uh, book four, uh, pig baby, yes. hey, <sighs> the pig baby car. Uh... Do you have any comments on the pig baby car? Big baby, big baby, shh 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 shh. Big baby, big baby, shh 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 shh. Big baby, big baby, big baby, shh 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 shh. This is the funniest character. <laughs> you know, if you said show this, pic, did you show this screenshot to like someone with no content? It's like, yeah, something really heavy happened here. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> like, like a real major character, and like he, it was something really bad happening to them. So I'll say on, mm -hmm. on the topic of Big Baby, if I had one complaint about this season, it's that I don't think any of the villains really landed for me this season. No, uh, they didn't. Uh, they I were don't. really looking at villains, just like I think the, the problem is none of them. If they all if they were mostly goofy, that'd be fine. But I think there needed to be one kind of more threatening one, and they kind of tried uh, with the Bug Judge, but they kind of also become more of a joke as the thing comes on. Yeah. I think it could have mm -hmm. easily. I think yeah, this this book could have easily just been about the two the two dudes. Yeah. I I don't know. I yeah. I I, I, jo I joke about Pig Baby, but uh, I th I thought it was like maybe an okay joke the first time we saw him, but when I saw him come back, I'm like oh, we're doing Pig yeah, Baby. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we're I doing... did enjoy it. The no, no, he was Pig Toddler. Thing. That doesn't change he's anything. Pig toddler that that doesn't yes, change does. anything. You can walk now. You can walk now and he, he <laughs> eats his butterfly. He's, he's the same butterfly. <laughs> he's the same fucking character. Butterfly. He's standing. He's all grown up. I, I, I remember seeing you talk about Pig Baby like before I, I watched the Pig Baby episode and I had no I didn't I didn't even know what you were talking about Infinity. They were Grand. talking I, that, okay, I was in I was with Ryan and the rest of my friends in a call. And they were talking about Pig Baby, and I hadn't, I didn't even, I didn't watch book four, and I was just yeah. sitting there like, what the, what are they talking about? Yeah, it was Pig, it was pig I mean, Baby. Pig, like I don't understand, and then I saw the episode, like I understand now, like that one picture of the <laughs> Yeah. Once oh. I saw, once I saw the Pig Baby car, I know what it all meant. But Pig Baby, Pig Baby, <laughs> shoo, shoo, baby, shoo, 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 Pig Baby, oh, oh. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> yeah. 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 People were calling the cat a milf. Do we need what? to talk? We don't need to talk about that at all. I think. No, we don't. We don't need to talk about that. We don't. I like how Pig Baby is oh. drawn, <laughs> like animated. I'll say that. Uh, that is something I noticed. I feel like how do I word the art style this season felt like different. Is, does that make sense? Like, kinda, kinda. Like I think particularly like the denizens look more like regular show characters this season. Um, you know that I'll have to look back on that. You know the episode where they're like at the party. All the characters there felt very much like yeah. regular show characters. They did. Okay, they had like the design for it, like this, like the animate humanoid object design. I see what you mean. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I was just thinking about. I I feel like Pig Baby had a very like Studio Ghibli kind of <laughs> look. To, I'm serious. Yeah, you Watch know what? Pig, I'm actually like the I'm way seeing is, it now. Like the way his like mouth is, I think especially. Like, like the is there's like a, the there's like Studio Ghibli characters like that where they have like big mouths, right? Mm -hmm. Like Totoro has like yeah. the big mouth and like the teeth. They draw it exactly like that. I thought it was pretty neat. 
Oh, that's my dog. I don't know. She she barks anytime like a car is outside our house. What's your dog? Tell Phoebe I love her. I will when she comes back. Dog baby. Dog baby? Dog baby. Dog yeah. baby. Yeah, new character. That's gonna be All in the dogs are movie. baby. Puts a pep puts a pacifier on my dog. <laughs> hashtag save infinity train. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. I, I, have, something to, I have something to say on that, but uh, just about book three. I will say, I think the season has like one really super strong thing, because I think the three like main characters were all great. I liked all of them. Oh, yeah. They got like a good thing, man. They can like... Yeah. I really love Taz. I like Taz. I, I love Eileen from regular show. Yeah, uh, she's so uh -huh. funny. Like, hey! Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was worried I wasn't gonna like Kaz that much, and then that's just what I'm like, no, no, I like Kaz. She's funny. Yeah, Kaz is actually funny. Kaz, Kaz, I got, I, I warmed up. I warmed up to her. She just makes me laugh out loud. Yeah. She's like, no, oh, don't worry. Kiss, like, she's her kisses are warm. I, I like that joke. That was funny that her kisses were warm because she's even though she's a bell. Yeah. I don't, uh, oh, any yes. any more any more thoughts on a uh, book three? I, four. A four, 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 four. Uh, I think it's Come really on, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hilarious where like Taz could just pull out like a bag of popcorn, open it up, and then start eating it. Where does it, where does it go? Yeah. Don't tell me. Oh, big baby. No <laughs> stomach. Baby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else did you want to talk about? Uh, I, guess, Ryan. I guess uh, about kind of the same Infinity Train thing. Uh, it sucks that, like, you have to do this for, for like, anything that's... I, I feel like we're so desperate, because this doesn't happen all... Because shows get canceled all the time, right? This happened with OKKO. OK but I feel like, uh, in particular, it feels like we're all really desperate for this one. Like, guys, come on. <laughs> Can you... uh, yeah, that's how I see it, because they didn't, because they finished off, like, I know they finished off on a bit of a high note with, you know, book four, but still, I would, I would want, like, a, some closure, you know? I, I think there's been right. a lot kind of built up recently, because this kind of happened with, like, the final season of, like, regular seniors, and then it's happened with OKKO, OK where, uh, Cartoon Network will kind of just tell, it's even happened with Adventure Time to some extent, uh, where it seems like they don't tell... Their like show runners when their shows are ending, it'll just walk like, oh, you got like four more episodes left. Bye. It feels like it, I mean, it feels like a big channel, right. like you know, for like producers and like whatever. They like they canceled Ducktales pretty early. Yeah, they can't. They, you know, there's a way. There's a lot of other shows and other you know networks that got closed down early. But I feel like with Infinity mm -hmm. Train, kind of more from a viewer perspective. uh I feel like this kind of was scratching a niche that wasn't really being scratched, which was kind of a Western animation that was more experimental and story based. That wasn't like that was for like an older crowd. Like I, I see people could kind of like this is a kids show, so I'm trying to act like it's for adults. Like no, this, this I, I think Infinity Show was always aimed to higher age. I, yeah, the people I, since I saw like the pilot, that I thought it was like pretty. It's a bit more mature. I, I, uh, yeah. I've seen people act like this show is for like eight year olds. I don't know. I think it was always aimed like fourteen and older. That maybe that's just me though. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think there's like a niche of that kind of like fourteen to like twenties, like we, that kind of age range kind of wants story based shows. And uh, I think losing one is kind of a big deal to people like us because like oh, there's not a lot of options for stuff like this right now. Yeah, yeah really and animation and then. You know. Mhm. Mm right. Um, and it, it's it's funny because like even like um like Cartoon Network they passed on the pilot for this. Yeah. And then when it was put up online, everyone was like, "No, no, this is good. You should like, you should greenlight this." And it got like a bunch of views on YouTube and stuff. Um, it, it feels like they're like weirdly not confident in it. I guess just because it is something so different. Yeah. But it seems, it really seems like the audience is there, and, like, they're clearly invested. I I, I feel like almost, like, a, like a nut for saying, like, a cartoon YouTuber nut for saying this. I almost feel like Cartoon Network and, like, its higher-ups are almost upset to an extent that this show is kind of popular. And uh, my reason for that is, I, it feels like, 
Cartoon Network lately, like if you see like kind of their business plans, they want to start skewing even younger. They want to like they want to get the like younger younger crowd, and I think I think they're kind of yeah. like not happy with the fact that a lot of their biggest successes are like Steven Universe and like Infinity Train and Adventure Time yeah, type stuff, which is kids. which is skewed older because I, I imagine. I don't know. That, that's not the demographic they want. That's not the ones that are buying toys or whatever. And I, I, I yeah, like, like that's also like weird too. It's just like, well, you could also definitely like make stuff to appeal to like the other crowd for something by like, oh, like I don't know, like merchandise and whatever, and people will, like buy that. Like, you know, people with disposable income. <laughs> I like did that mm-hmm. with like Power Rangers, I remember, or something like that. I, I think Cartoon Network seems to like because I think they kind of did this to themselves because a lot of their biggest shows in the past year were like regular show, Adventure Time, and Scene Universe, which all were kind of aimed towards us. If we're being frank, like that older yeah. that older group, mm-hmm. and I I, I think and, like, I think they're starting to regret that, which is why you know I think like they wanted to get all those shows out, and I don't know, I'm I'm not super confident we're going to see a lot of super interesting stuff like those shows. Bring uh, in from the baby network. shows. Bring them in. <laughs> yeah, which, which is they a, could definitely just do both. Which is, I think is I a shame understand. because I think that was the thing that made Cartoon Network way more interesting than like Nick and even Disney. Like, well, Disney, yeah, it's funny because Disney's kind of taking that niche now because uh, Gravity Falls was a big hit for them. And if you, I there's lots of, like stories about why that show got canceled, but it's funny because uh, it only ended because Alex Hirsch only wanted two seasons, and Disney wanted to keep switching that show out long because it was a big hit for them. So now that now they keep making shows like Gravity Falls because they're making like uh they made Ducktales, they made uh Amphibia, they made Owl House, which are all kind of like more story based shows. So Disney's kind of like kind of swooped that niche from Cartoon Network, and I don't know why yeah. Cartoon Network seems to hate being in that niche. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just confusing honestly, to me. it doesn't really need to be the niche, but like it could be the norm. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, know. So weird. Like, 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 like they could have done the, they could have done free school block, and then this too. Like, what's stopping it from like putting us in like materials that people will consume? I don't know. Well, they could put. They could put it's the like, big baby show on the. They on have the nothing. They have nothing to lose. Well, no, they have their fortunes to lose. Yeah, there's some guy, funny. there's there's some really rich guy who is not going to be as rich as he can be if we don't get those baby shows out right now. I, I feel like a lot of animation right now is just kind of hoping like Netflix puts out something interesting or Adult Swim picks up something interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying, Chad. I don't think they hate it. I know the executive changed recently, and I imagine that was probably part of it. Mm. Right. Was, Oh my god, yeah, that, that actually does happen a lot. Mm. I, especially like Cartoon Network. Give cartoons and real people a shot! Are you hearing what I'm like, saying? Wasn't it also like something with the Trump administration that caused like a OKKO to get cancelled eventually? That was part of it, yeah. It wasn't the whole thing, but it was part of it. Yeah. That show... Uh, that show, I think, more than any other show, probably got super screwed over by Cartoon Network. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I, I almost think a lot yeah. of ways it sounds like it's kind of like the uh the, what happened with Harvey Beaks kinda of happened with OKKO okay to some extent. Not like as bad, but like it definitely w- was getting kind of treated similar, like kind of like garbage, I guess. Right. Yeah. That's pretty sad. At least let's hold- move on to a happier topic. Well, hold on. At least we'll have two good birdie season two, baby. It's gonna save animation. Everyone's gonna watch it and want weird, <laughs> fun new stuff. It's gonna be great. They're gonna see. Oh yeah, too good. Everyone loves too good birdie. They like weird, unique stuff. Oh, we can bring back Infinity Train and green light new ideas and fun new, not reboots. It's gonna be great. We're gonna we're gonna save the day. Too good birdie's gonna save animation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Too good, Bernie. You gotta save it. We're gonna, this is everyone. Strap in. Everyone, everyone's bracing for. I'm bracing for impact. This is the. Same. What is the next topic? Uh, the next topic is Mario Party. Uh, how they oh, add okay. a, So, uh, if you're not aware, two and a half years later, uh, after the fact, they they decided at two a.m. in the morning. On like a like a Wednesday to be like, yeah, I guess we could put online Super Mario Party now. 
And they did. Yep, they absolutely right. did. I just, I like saw it in my timeline. And I was like, oh wow. But I, I, I don't play Mario Party, so I, I looked at, I looked at everyone else in the server, like, well, you're, you're free to go. Go ahead. So, so the interesting thing about <laughs> online Super Mario Party is I played it with my friend uh, Lou and Ali, and uh, the weirdest thing about it is that it works like shockingly well for like a Nintendo thing. Yeah, a lot like Smash. I it ran pretty smoothly. When, when it was just me and Lou, it ran perfectly. There was no lag whatsoever. When we added Ali, uh, there was a bit of lag spike, but Ali lives in Chile, so that was probably part of the mm -hmm. reason, because it was a uh, fart. But even then, it wasn't like, even that bad of a lag spike. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. even, like, the UI is, like, pretty good. Like, like when you're, like, waiting in a lobby, you can, like, play mini games as you wait. Like, it's, like, a shockingly, like, well-put-together little online. Uh, it uses the invite feature. It's the only Nintendo Switch game made by Nintendo use the invite feature. That's, that's such a trip. <laughs> they, wow. they gave all the good online to this game that was released two years ago, and like, wasn't was yeah. it well received? Yeah, no, this is one of the best selling Switch games. It's in the top seven. I don't, I don't get why they get it earlier. Yeah, it, it seemed for a while Super Mario Party seemed like one of those Nintendo games where everyone was like, it, it like comes out and it was like, oh, there's totally gonna, there's gonna be so much cool DLC for this, and then like nothing gets released. Like with Mario Kart and Mario yeah. Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. I've got to say, uh, this re -Mario. I can't believe people like, since people like that game get DL DLC, dead game. What do you mean? That was like a, like a fully packed adventure game that was actually finished. <laughs> you know? game. I, people are so used to They're games. They're supposed to add Delfino Plaza. They're supposed to add Delfino Plaza. They did. It's a dead game. <laughs> people are so used to games coming out, not complete, and having to get the updates to finish them, that they assumed Mario Odyssey was a dead game because it didn't get any updates. Besides Luigi. I'm really hung up on this. I'm really hung up on this. But uh, there's been a few theories about why uh, Super Mario Party got this update. Uh, the theory I heard is, uh, one, is they're testing out new online stuff. And they're using this game to test it because uh, it didn't have online. It was a top seller. So it's kind of a good testing grounds for like new ideas. That's uh -huh. one of the ones I've heard. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the other ones I've heard is uh, they wanted to get... They started development of this online feature... At the uh, at the end, like start of the pandemic, and they spent so long on it, they couldn't get out until like right now, like far into it, where it's like we're getting out of it. That's one of the like kind of right. theories I've heard. And the third one is I've heard is they're making a sequel to this game, and they're making it online for it. And there's like fuck it, just put it in the first one too, I guess. We're doing a sequel. I can't wait for Mario you... Super Mario Party Two. Would you, would you would you recommend getting this game? Now that has online. I would, like, yeah. I think this added like, a lot of value to the game. Right. Yeah. Really? No, yeah. I, I think for sure. Okay, well, no, you had to get over, like, the Joy-Con issues. <laughs> yeah, this game is single Joy-Con. That's how you play it. Oh, dear. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's well, the, like, I got from, like, getting it. It's a, like, oh, just a Joy-Con option. Like, the most, you know, with the drift and everything, it's like, ooh, art so. Yeah. Uh, so someone in chat said you could make good DLC to a fully complete game. I agree. My problem was people were saying the game was dead and like awful because it didn't get DLC. And I feel yeah. I don't know. I just feel like that's a victim of like games coming out unfinished. When Mario Odyssey was a completely finished game, it didn't. It would be nice to get DLC, but it didn't need DLC. Right. Is what I was more saying, mm -hmm. like it didn't need it yeah. to like make the game feel more complete. It felt like a you know small so, package. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I never got Super Mario Party, so you know, might maybe I'll join in this Mario Party madness. Yeah, I mean, um, I'll, I'll probably end up playing it more fun. now. That it ha the only reason I was never playing this one is because it didn't have any way to play with other people. Can you play it online with yeah. randos, or does it have to be with friends? I think there's randos, but I don't ever play online games ever with randos, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, that's I, fair. I I've read, I was reading about this. I don't have the game. I was reading, you can't you can't just do it. Um, just like with complete strangers, I think, but it has like a lobby feature. Mm. Yeah. You like oh, send okay. out a code. They gotta okay. post it somewhere. Um. So yeah. So it's not I, a I, quick I play think so. or anything. No. Well, I don't think so. I I don't know. I don't know. I have to look into it. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Am I a man? <laughs> Am I a Muppet? That's our second Muppet song. 
ready for Animal Crossing to get a real update in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the oh, yeah, wait, oh, you, you know, ever since people, you know, when people started talking about Fingor, the update came out right after. I think they're trying to cover it up. I, I guess what? a bit. Of, uh, yeah, what are you? What Fingor? Scrupulous Fingor. Fingor. Oh, yeah, you remember Fingor. the the real Mario, New Super Mario DS oh. enemy. <laughs> Your people are crazy. It's the ghost hoax. What? No, no, but, no but it was real. No, no I what are you talking about? Your people are, your people are wacky and bodacious and goofy. Bodacious? Yeah. Oh, no, Jay, what do you no, mean? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is a bit tangent because we're like, kind of on Nintendo games and updates. I wonder mm. if something happened with like New Horizons. Because uh, when the game first came out, a ton of stuff was data mined. About like Brewster and Gyroids, and it's been like a year, and neither of those things are in the game still. Nothing. Who knows? Maybe it, maybe it's like a FNAF thing where like those stuff were just brought over as a means to just developing the game from. God. Right. Like a foundation. Well, I I don't know. From what I've heard, there hasn't been a lot of stuff like that in New Horizons though, because New Horizons no. are built off Splatoon, I think. <laughs> like Splatoon oh. engine, I'm pretty sure. Wait, really? I, I'm pretty sure because Mar- so was Mario. A lot of all the stuff from that team is like kind of built off the same engine because like there's like Mario Maker stuff. I mean, there's Splatoon stuff in Mario Maker, so I think they're kind of using that engine for like most of their stuff right now. And I haven't heard anything else but like New Leaf leftovers in the files. So, hmm. so it seems like they were at some point planning for uh, New Horizon stuff, and I, something happened, and I I don't know what happened to all that stuff. It's gone. Gone forever. And I definitely see the occasional yeah. take of like, oh what not every game used to like have all these updates like I was like like I was saying with Mario. But I, I gotta say, uh Animal Crossing New Horizons definitely launched with less stuff uh than like the previous one by a lot, which made it feel a lot more empty. And it kinda gave yeah. off the it kinda gave off the vibe that like the whole point of the game was going to be it was a constantly evolving world. That's what I thought at first. Like you were gonna be constantly getting like new characters and like new buildings and just lots of new like it was gonna be a world that kept evolving that was kind of the point and then it just kind of never did it never happened <laughs> we got a few updates not much else yeah and i guess we're gonna some... get that super mario party thing you know we're gonna get that well like in like a year yeah they're saying Maybe the, the game changer yeah it's gonna come <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait yeah! I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm hype. We got Mario uh. a year later. That's true. We got we got Mario on my birth month. That was my gift. Because they, oh, yeah. they, they finally added items to the game so I can make my island as tacky as me. That's not even a joke. I love having tacky looking shit in my <laughs> Animal Crossing just, town. Just, I can dress myself Yubi, Yubi. Womp in the middle of the town so it could crush all the other villagers. It's great. I yeah. I hate that the you put in the description of the Ready to Starcast Twitter, you called the show the brainchild of us. And yeah. You only did that to like get on my nerves, and it's still there. I know I changed <laughs> it. Like it. I, I changed it. It's now it's Riot Rosa and Seep talk about something. All right. Yeah. That's you changed it. Cool. Yeah, I changed it after the oh, Ice okay. Age thing. I forgot what the description was for a bit. So I made it that, and then remembered, oh, it's the brainchild. I'm too lazy to change it back, and that's why our no, 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 no. Uh, that's why our Twitter still says Ice Age Seven. I've been, I've been looking at the, the Ready to Start right. Twitter, and I'm still seeing Ice Age Seven, and I was just, man, is it still happening? Are you are you still releasing Ice Age Seven? Oh, I just realized we have a Twitter. We do. We do. We do. I guess on uh, well, that you, you note post- about like kind of uh, games getting updated, I, I've been kind of thinking about this lately. I, I've been wondering if like my kind of thoughts on Kirby Star Allies would have been a bit different if the game just came out as this huge celebration of Kirby and didn't kind of dole out over time. I don't know. Hmm. I, I think I might... I, I, still, I think I might have... Uh, it might have stuck out of my mind a bit more for the game like launched with all those characters and modes, maybe. I had a, like, what was hmm. it called? Uh, Heroes in Another Dimension, like, day one, I think I would have been okay with that. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I've, I've been considering that thought in my mind lately. 
Is there any other news this week? Oh, do we talk about Sonic? Should we talk about the Sonic leaks? Is that worth talking about? What, the card game? No, the, the, yeah. the movie set leak. Yeah, the movie. There's a few set leaks out with, like, uh, Tails and another guy. <laughs> An unknown figure. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> Fist. Fist. Yes, it's Fist. Fist or... Yeah. Red Fist. Um, I, I don't know. Is that news or is it... I don't know. I, I guess don't... it's news. But... Uh, I don't I much guess... to say other than, like, the Knuckles design looks nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so I was expecting him yeah. to make it like look. I was expecting him to make him look really weird. I mean, uh, he's like a. <laughs> so I'm saying he's like a good in between between Boom Knuckles and like regular Knuckles. He kind of does. He kind of does. He has the bulk. Yeah. He has a little bit of bulk. I, I like how he looks. I do. I did like looking at it because maybe think like, do you think they made his arm? Do you, do you think they like a lot of like outside studios to Sega? Whenever they did like redesign Knuckles, do you think they always make him big? <laughs> Like compensate for the fact that he has uh, um, like unbelievably huge hands that it's impossible for animation. Probably, yeah, I think so. I think that could be part. I think it's also just sort of a natural mm -hmm. thing. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Knuckles. He's like a strong guy. So it's like, well, you could probably make him like a little buff looking. Yeah, he's not really they're... super buff in any of the games. He never, he never looked that, like, really particularly buff. He always had the noodle arms like everyone else. Yeah, because of like the timing. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I guess the time he came out, they just went with like the noodle arm design. Though I think he looks a little bulky at Sonic Three. Doesn't doesn't like Sonic Sonic's hands are a lot smaller in the movies, aren't they too? And like I think Boom Sonic has slightly smaller hands too. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and the movie is. Like... It, it, uh, the movie is like generally, like. It's like toned down in a way where like you don't notice it unless you look at them side by side. Um, it's because the game in the in the games the proportions are really wacky. Yeah, I, I've been thinking a lot about like Sonic characters' hands lately, just because of that one video. Like how like they probably make animation for those characters absolute hell. Yeah, yeah, that, that's something I like about uh, like the Knuckles model they have because even his face feels a bit more like. Mm -hmm. I don't, like if you look at renders for the games, like Knuckles, his eyes are like really big, and it feels like I, I guess it, it always kind of feels like he's like too close to the camera or something. <laughs> he's doing like, the like I don't know. It's a very like, he's doing the Bob's, the Bob's Burgers like middle of the frame looking at the camera shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I do I do really like how. That like knuckles, looks. I feel like it it, it, it's, it illustrates a lot about him pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, he does feel naked without the what is it called the the, the crescent thing around his. No, he has it. It's just a little bit. Does more he have it? Yeah, just look closer. Oh, I guess I guess he does. I I don't actually I don't actually I think, think he has it. I think I think I think he just doesn't have it because like the statues in general lack some detail. I'm I'm sure he'll have it in the movie. Yeah, he'll have. Yeah, they they're gonna add the fern post. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. All well, right. Well, this is the part of the show uh, where we talk about something we watched or played this week. Uh, I know Rosa is desperate to talk about <laughs> Breaking Bad. Do we? Yeah, Hell we yes. Did this. We, well, we last, skip this one a lot. It's because last few weeks it's been a little nuts. I, I've been meaning to make sure to do it this time for sure. Yeah. I've actually okay. been surprised that the stream has gone pretty calmly with discussion yeah i mean we're talking about we're talking about some things you know we got some real news we got some real news yeah this like week. Real news. yeah here we go. <laughs> no, don't i mean it was really important we talked about flintstones absolutely you could talk about uh breaking bad now rosa so i've been watching breaking bad um three seasons in i just started the fourth one and wow what a wild time, huh? I, I see everyone, it. my other friends in the store joke a lot about it. It's like, hey, Walter, I, I break the Minecraft on the cobblestone generator and all that. But I'm surprised to see like how there was a period where it wasn't like Walt and Jesse, but they're just like split up. Oh, it's, it's a real wild time. It's a part in Mario and Luigi when Mario and Luigi get separated. Yeah. <laughs> They come back together in the end. And they're like, Yahoo! Yahoo! 
Oh, yeah, I've been having a good time. I'm just like laughing at Walt at like certain moments. Like, like he really does just fuck up a lot, huh? Yeah, he's a bit of a yeah. he's a bit of a pathetic character, honestly. Yeah, yeah, real. He had like a fly episode where he was just trying to kill a fly, and Jesse's like, "Come on, man, it's just a fly." <laughs> the whole so you, you tell me this just fly. Stress. Is there a whole episode about the fly? Yeah. Majority episode is just him trying to chase. That's like a literally like a like a Veggie Tales Larry Boy episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're pretty Veggie Tales adjacent. <laughs> no, it's a, I mean, yeah, um, it's, it's an avant-garde story. It's like when Bojack was doing the eulogy. You know, Bessie oh, wasn't even in that episode. Yes. Yeah. Chess, right? It literally is like a live action cartoon at times. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. oh my god, what little I remember of Breaking Bad it was. I feel like, like I feel like for so long I, I heard people describe the show as like a serious masterpiece, and now everyone I know who watched is like, this is my favorite live action cartoon. It really is. <laughs> the thing, there are some so serious cool. moments, but it's like, there's some really, really ridiculous moments. Like the pizza yeah. moment, of course. Famous pizza moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's like really cool. Walter was having a tantrum. He was like, coaching, "Why did my wife kick me out of the house? Like, what do you think, dumbass?" That the context of that scene is throwing a tantrum. Yeah, yeah pretty much. That was it. Oh, he just, he throws a tantrum a lot. He just like gaslights Jesse majority of the time. Like, damn it, Jesse, you miss up everything. And like, he gets a Jesse kicked out of his house. He's just like, Jesse, stop calling me. I can't believe Walter White has grown up, Caillou. He is. <laughs> Someone said it best. It's like he's like light Yagame adjacent. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean by that. What was it, Renee? Like, Did Renee say that on the on a, on the show that Breaking Bad was like in like a BoJack Horseman sphere? Is that on the show? That sounds about yeah, right. People who like takes you like, oh, well, they're so cool and epic, and like, no, he's seen this mess um, because he's just like. Did they want help? It's a Malcolm in the Middle too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad this show is like a shared universe. It has the guy from Malcolm in the Middle as the main dude. <laughs> it's like a shared universe. There you go. It's like the funniest yeah. thing in the world to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so right now I'm like in season four, and, like, there's still a lot more to culture, but I'm excited to see. I can't wait to see that moment everyone jokes about. <laughs> you know, the one where, like, he has magnets in his oh, head. No. And it's oh. Oh. The gift where he oh. falls to the ground. Yeah. That, yeah. Like, yeah. That I think like, I got to that part, and I was like... That's, like, second to last episode. I think so, just about. Yeah. Oh, wow. like, that late in. <laughs> Oh my God. It, it's I, just I've never seen that show. Yeah, um, right. I have a DVD of it, though. The um, Doug Walker signed it. No. Uh, I don't. I th- I don't know what season it is, but I found it one day. I was walking home from school, and I found it on the floor, and I just like put it. I just put it on this this table, like next to the front door, and it's like been there for years. Has has Nostalgia uh, Critic done a joke yet where he's Walter White and Malcolm is Jesse? Oh my god, there has to be. Give me a second. I feel like that. Oh my god. And he's, no, the, I, he's like, I'm the woke Jesse. <laughs> I'm the woke version. <laughs> I'm thinking, I've, I, for some reason, I have like, like a vivid image of like demo reel skit with like the Breaking Bad van in my brain. And I know that I'm like making that up, but it's just so, it's like, it feels so real to me. There was a, was there a demo reel, you know, segment with head breaking bad. I, I I don't know. I've never watched all of demo reel. I've I never watched, watched. I just watched a video on demo reel. That's it. Yeah, I, I've <laughs> I never can, watched it either. I can bring myself to do it. Oh, yeah. Also, like despite everything, people always make jokes about like Jesse's doing something dumb, and Walter's like, "Oh no!" But really, it's again, it's Walter who's always doing something dumb and stupid. Walter's a dingus. Mm-hmm. So it was Walter who broke the cobblestone generator. Yeah, it was Walter. And then he blames Jesse. Like, Jesse, didn't I tell you how to do the cobblestone generator? Yeah, I did exactly what you did. No, you did not. You insult my intelligence, Jesse. 
I, I, I just real fast before I talk about something I watched this week. Um, sometimes YouTube will recommend me like a nostalgia critic video, like a new one, and it both hits me that he's still uploading, and all his videos get like two hundred thousand plus views still. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that's like that's crazy. Who's, who's watching these still? Oh, like, no, you know. The, the person I showed you, put that image on screen. What image? Oh, what image? <laughs> Cancel culture is liar revealed 2.0. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Those people are watching Nostalgia Critic on a weekly basis. I don't, I don't know. It's gotta be like Facebook dads. <laughs> like watching this show Facebook still. Facebook dads. It's completely... Well, I mean, Completely like not online, but still like a nerd culture dad character. A dad character. I think an of... even better question is who watches the channel awesome Twitch streams? Like, uh, where is the audience for that? Uh, guys, are we raiding tonight or are we raiding tonight? <laughs> oh, we're gonna raid. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, uh, so I like, I found this image. <laughs> So earlier today, I sent this damage to a server. The Doug Walker plays Kingdom Hearts 2 Part 1. I had yes. to so there's streams of Doug Walker to get this image from. <laughs> Look at that. Victims of cancel culture. Uh, Rango, Marty the Zebra, Al <laughs> the Shark Slayer, Manny the Squirrel, uh, flick the the ant, uh, chicken the run, Mandalorian. Culture kills. <laughs> PNG of Mandalorian because there's no DVDs. I revealed 2.0 cast. <laughs> I gotta. I I think I have to watch that because it's that's that's. That's, 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 a, that's uh, a bold statement. That is. Look at his little gamer setup. Look at him. Why does he look so? <laughs> There's something about him here. He looks different, doesn't he? Like he has like different know. glasses. Like he, he has looks like, like big, he looks like. Yeah. He... No, no. He looks like Walter he look... White. He look... Looks like a I, looks like, I, He's like he's got the big glasses. He's like scrawny here. He looks like a kind of like a child or something. <laughs> child. <laughs> he looks like a TF2 YouTuber. Yes. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the updates to the vaccinator. Um, they adjusted it so the healing <laughs> now see, no longer okay, glitches. Real gamer. Uh, and it yeah. still has headphones. Uh, we'll talk about how this is going to affect the meta medic metagame because now that the uh, heal beam will uh, not reach opponents at a 3.5 length yeah. distance for, from you, uh, you're going to have to start adjusting your medic play to get closer to your uh, soldier or heavy. And, uh, that's going to be really oh important God. for the future of your Team Fortress 2 competitive play. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Mars, do you have two tubers still thing? Yeah. Yeah. They're all over. You have two His tubers. His name is German985. <laughs> German985. I like how someone once said there's like two scouts in this world the voice actor and Germa. TF2, yeah. TF2 tubers are very funny because if, you, if you're if you a TF2 tuber and you quit playing the game or like take a break, people get like f furious at you and somehow Germa completely avoided that to the point where most people don't even know he was a TF2 tuber. Yeah, I, I, like, I remember when he was a TF2 tuber and I was like, okay, well I guess he's I guess he stopped doing that and then he just started streaming and I forgot about him for a little while and then I remember him like a year like a year ago. Mm -hmm. Germa I, I think it out. I think I think it's probably just his personality is just such a central part of everything he does. If if you like, like if you like watch a lot of his late YouTube channel videos, you can tell he's kind of more shifting to like performance art. <laughs> like even then, he is uh -huh. he is a performance part. He's he is. Just, he just he's. I don't know. I I never seen. I don't think about him playing video games. I think about him doing like the weird absurdities. And noises and like he's such a physical person and a verbal person. All right, like I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about what I watched this week. Uh, I watched Ryan of Earth. Ryan of Earth, please tell us what you have watched on the boob tube. 
I watched my neighbors, the Yamadas, <laughs> which is which is the uh, worst performing Studio Ghibli film of all time. It is the only Studio Ghibli film to ever be a financial failure. Yeah, I've never heard of this one. Uh, so let me put this on screen because uh, if I if I didn't tell you this was Studio Ghibli, you wouldn't know. So let me let me put this on screen real fast so you can see what this is. The most uh -huh. shocking thing about this movie is that I got a dub. <laughs> From Disney. From Disney? Yeah, hold on. I don't think the image is like small or blurry. Thanks, Google. There we go. I'm just waiting for the image. While we're waiting for the image, let's let's look at the chat. Let's ask some oh, questions yeah, for yeah. the no, no, no. Do you have any not questions yet. for us? It's not the 3D one, no. Uh it's it's this one. <laughs> so this is the all like only Studio oh. Ghibli movie ever. I believe that's like adapted from like a manga or like an anime. I might be misremembering that. It's one of the few adaptations they've ever done, and it's this. Uh, and it didn't do good at all. It's it's like their worst performing film of all time. And but it somehow, it somehow got like localized, and Disney Disney dubbed it. I'm shocked they took the time to do it. <laughs> it looks cute. I don't like how it looks. Uh, it's very structurally different from anything else like it too, because uh. It's basically a series. You know what a four coma is, like those mangas with like four panels. Yeah. yeah. It's basically yeah. it's basically an animated version of a bunch of those, and that's that's like the main setup. It's just like a bunch of those. Oh. Huh. It's kind of like Pop good. Havoc. I liked it. Yeah, it was cute. Uh, I can see why it didn't do very good though, because it's definitely not what people come to like Ghibli for. But uh, I liked yeah. it. I thought it was a fun time. It's it's cute. It's fun. I should look into this. I feel like well, maybe I should watch this too. Although, like, most of, like, Ghibli stuff are, like, adaptations. I guess this one's sure, like, all using the different animation style. Yeah. I, I think the difference Notice is... Notice how Ryan is covering everyone but herself. Leave me alone. I oh. think the difference with this one <laughs> is it was more of, a, like, an adaptation of a specific IP rather than, like, a story, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's Because it's based off the manga, mm -hmm. uh, Nono-chan. It's based off that manga. It's one of the few times that they've done like an IP movie. I guess is the way to put it. Mm hmm. An it flick, as I like to say. Well, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> it's a good. I was talking through my mouth. Hey, if my mouth, my hand. Hey, hey if, you weren't <laughs> if you weren't interested earlier, Tress McNeil is in the movie doing her grandma voice. Oh my gosh, she's doing her grandma yeah, voice she's doing from her, the grandma Simpsons? She's doing her, the, the Kajigers voice from Futurama for the grandma. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god indeed. That is very good. But can she do her tiny ten voice? That's what I would like to know. Alright, sure, why not? But anyway, yeah, it's a cute, uh... <laughs> I, what? Yeah, uh, I think this movie gets left That's off. A... It gets left off a lot of Ghibli retrospective type stuff or like talks, but I, I think it's worth one watch for being a unique thing from them. What did what did Disney uh, dub it? Disney dubbed it. They were the ones who dubbed it. No, when, 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 uh, when, 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 well, the movie when came, did it come out? The movie came out in 1999, but let me check when Disney specifically dubbed it. Oh my it. gosh. Uh, yeah, let's put out when Disney did the dub for the movie. Uh, Everybody I... loves my vain voice. All the audience starts clapping whenever I. impression. <laughs> it came out in the two yeah. thousands, like or like exactly two thousand. In the year two thousand is when the dub. Hey, can everyone chat and tell Seep that you hate the Bane voice? I don't know. Um, everyone looks. Like, everyone looks pretty impressed so far. You know how many times the Bane voice gets reference? The Bane voice. This is a really great. You can't. You can't type it, Ryan. You're not. Having, that's like... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you count, Ryan. You know, see, I gotta... use like a burner account or something. You know, let me say, <laughs> Steve, you're doing a really great. You're doing a really great joke that every single thirty-year-old streamer and YouTuber does. <laughs> what? Um, shut up! It's a. It's what? Everyone watched that movie. I was like, I was the kid when that came. This is a literal. This is like a, a, a literal Doug Walker what? tear joke. 
No! Everyone, everyone, well, I don't know. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves it in chat. <laughs> Can we all do the right, the Bane voice? Ryan, Rosa, and Aaron? Oh, hey, big buddy, what's going on? What's going on in here? Hold on, let me get the SpongeBob background music set up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh no, I'm getting I'm getting wrapped into this now. Hold on. Alright. Uh let me let me set the scene. Um no, that's not what I want. Uh alright. Bane is in the crusty crab. That's your vision, okay? That's what I want you to imagine. Alright, and go. Mm. Mm. This looks like a fine establishment to quench my- SpongeBob, my look! Effort, it's Bane! He's in the Krusty Krab right now! Uh, let me see. Uh, Big uh, Bane, right? Who is this? Who is this customer? What is he doing in my establishment? Mr. Krabs, I'm that's Bane! Bane. I'm here. Yeah, well, any pendant customer is a friend of mine. To satiate my hunger. Alright. I need someone to- Sir, I can take your I can take your order, sir. Hell uh, y'all! I'm Sammy's cheeks. And guess what? I love women. Out of character, but I'm 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 surprised that SpongeBob has not shown up. He's not here today. This is his day off. <laughs> what do you mean he's not here? What happened to him? <laughs> Why don't you like to know, Mr. Bane? And then Scooter pulls out the gun and shoots Bane because he killed SpongeBob. Okay. Mr. Squidward! It's, it's good. He killed Spongebob! Oh. He killed Spongebob! He did this! Uh, I didn't even order yet. Yes, it would be great to order. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I Am guess, I next? Yeah, I guess you're did next. I, yeah, what did I you... use up my slot? No, you it's fine. Oh, <laughs> we got plenty okay. of time left. Go on. I guess the thing I did was um I watched um Mortal Kombat. Apparently oh. I watched it the day it came out. I didn't even realize. I just saw that it was there and was like, okay, I'll watch it. I don't always do that with movies. Um but I decided to watch I I decided to watch Mortal Kombat because I knew it was a popular franchise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. yes, but maybe you should try using your your like big boy voice. Oh, what about? Um, <laughs> oh, it's a very popular franchise. People know what it is, but uh, I never really played it myself. I wasn't really around for its peak. Really, um, so uh, I I I didn't even know this movie was coming out until like a week ago, I'd say. So uh, I saw it on the HBO Max front page. This doesn't even sound like Seep anymore. I don't know who you are. This is like someone else turned into a different person. Is this Joe? Is this Joe from Family Guy? Since you ask me, oh, I'm sitting in there, sitting in the living room, with Bonnie, arm <laughs> around Bonnie, and we decided to put on. Some Mortal Kombat. See what all the fuss was about. And, uh, welcome back to Mortal Kombat. So, in the last episode, I said that I wanted you to recommend some movies for me to watch. So, today, we're going to be reacting to. We're going to be trying not to laugh at Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I imagine like little Joe in the corner with like his like shitty webcam, like it's like 320p and <laughs> a fucking like, and headphone and headset on. Every once in a while he just goes <laughs> <laughs> We already failed the challenge. Oh yeah, so anyway, uh Mortal Kombat oh, I I'd always known about Mortal Kombat. Right. The popular franchise, and uh, but I was never really around for its peak. Uh, so uh, I decided I saw it on the front page of HBO Max. So uh, I uh, I turned my webcam on, and uh, you know, uh, 
welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, and so I, I, uh, I decided to watch it. I pressed play on my Roku remote to watch. And uh, uh, <laughs> franchise, you know, and I wanted to learn a bit more about it. You know, it's always been around in my life. <laughs> but I never got into it. I wasn't around for its peak. Uh, <laughs> you can stop this bit if you want. Uh, I don't know how to go. Just... <laughs> I don't... Uh, so the film starts with this gay scene where these two guys. What the hell is that? No, you can't give us a recap. <laughs> <laughs> is this is a nostalgia critic review now. So, but. You're like glitching out of existence as you do this bit now. Let me see. Ancient Japan. <laughs> you're like you're like glitching for me right now. Yeah, you are for me too. I don't know what's happening. You're like glitching out of existence as you do this Joe Swanson bit. I don't know. I don't know. Discord likes the bit. Peter, 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 Peter. Well, Aaron, I think I I think Seeps used up their time slot. You could talk about something you played or watched this week. Okay. Uh, well, I'm a bit late to the train, but I started playing, uh, I, I played Crash 4. <laughs> it took me, it took me so long, oh, the Bandicoot! <laughs> yeah, it took me so long to get this game, but I, I finally got it, and, uh, I liked it. It was good. I liked it a lot. Oh, good. I'm glad to it hear. Really, and, uh, I really like Dingo Dial. Dingo Dial's the best. Oh, everyone loves Dingo Dial. You're, you're a fool. Know, if you, if you played Crash 4, <laughs> and you said I didn't like Dingo Dial, you're lying. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Don't say that. <laughs> I think... I, did Seep get kicked off the podcast now? I think their internet like was fucking up, maybe. No, he's, he's fine. No. Fall it off. I think his he internet... Fall it off the back of shame. I think his internet was bugging out. He'll be back, probably. Yeah. Well, campers, looks like Seep's been... <laughs> <laughs> Eliminated. Not cool, dude. Oh, oh, it's, uh, yeah, Crash Four. It's a, uh, it's a good game. Yeah, uh, I, I, I did a whole stream of it. So, like, obviously, I, 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 obviously, I liked it. So, I liked you it. Didn't do, to... You didn't do one hundred for six percent, did you? I did not. No. <laughs> Thank. Yeah, me neither. I can't do it. I've, I'm gonna try for it, and I'm gonna, gonna fail. Uh, I, I didn't do any of like the the. the Cortex tapes either. I never got around to that. Uh, I, I said, should try that. I'm, I'm gonna. To get those. I'll do them someday, probably, but uh, not right now. For the stream. <laughs> yeah, probably for the stream. Yeah, the stream gets a gets to watch it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> keep, uh, this seeps back. Are you back, Steve? Are you officially back? So then it cuts to modern day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this, this guy is doing a cage fight. <laughs> I think the thing I liked about Crash 4 is, um, I think a lot of the times, you know, Mario's kind of the, the king of, like, 3D platformers. Everyone knows that. And, uh, right, yeah, of course. I, I think a lot of times other 3D platformers maybe fail to, like, kind of live up to that. Because it's an unfair expectation, but it's an expectation. Uh, but something I liked about Crash 4 is I, th I, is I think in a lot of ways, like, Cra Crash 4 kind of exceeded a lot of things Mario's yeah. done. I want to hear if Mortal ass. Kombat was. If I liked Mortal Kombat. Oh, we'll get back to you, Joe. Just sit down for one <laughs> second. Just let me let me talk. Hey. I want to talk. Because uh, I think I think uh, I think Crash Four because Crash Four is a linear 3D platformer in a lot of ways. I think it outshines uh, 3D World in a lot of aspects. It does. I think it does as well. I played. I got the 3D World remaster, and I realized uh, it's. I mean, it's good. Yeah. It's good. I like it. I like the speed. I don't one. know, yeah, but I, I couldn't compare them really. I, I really couldn't compare them. Yeah. In reality. 
Crash 4 doesn't have Diaper Adventure, but it, it has... doesn't have Diaper Adventure. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, whenever you click on Cortex, go to his level, he says, Diaper Adventure! Oh, the ba <laughs> oh, I must catch the Bandicoot, and I must go on a Diaper Adventure! Cortex, you have to put on the diaper! <laughs> you have to wear... <laughs> Finally, it's what Crash says in response yeah, to all the Crash said when he, what says when he dies. Woo! And then Kate Mikuchi says, Three! By the way, Crash X Noid. Crash X Noid. Love wins. I'm glad Love Gate. Wins. Did we talk I'm... about the Noid? No. Yeah, let's talk about the Noid. I, you know what? Does that count as news? Can we count it as news? That is news. That is news. I guess it so. Is news. Uh, avoid the Noid. Mr. The Noid is coming to Crash Bandicoot, Crash on the Run, and it's great to see gay people supporting each other. It is. It is always nice to see them. <laughs> God, I can't. I can't avoid the Noid if he's in that game. I hope we avoid get the Noid. Noid. What? You'll Noid three. I hope we get that soon. Oh, oh yeah. Could happen. Could happen. Maybe. Well, Are you not with like Fortnite dances. <laughs> My friend Lynn said like the Noid should have. This feels right for the Crash Bandicoot universe. And like the Noid getting into Crash is like a Banjo Kazooie getting the Smash moment. It is. <laughs> it, is. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like because they, because so like you have Banjo and Mario, and they're they're kind of like the cartoony bunch, and then you have like Crash and Annoyed, and they're unhinged, insane people. I could absolutely see the Annoyed and like the the Crash Team Racing Nitro Field like, right. roster. They specifically said that too. Yeah, if this if this crossover happened during that, he would have been in that game. He absolutely would. <laughs> I would have, and I would have been all for that. Yeah. What does Joe well, think of the Noid? Well, if you want to know what I, what I think of the Noid, uh, it's very, uh... My name is Lemmy Snicket, and, uh, it's, it's a word, uh... The Noid is a very bad guy. I don't think you should be messing around with the Noid beer. I've seen a lot of stuff. All right, I'm gonna mess with the Noid. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go steal his pizza. Yeah, let's go. What Bart? was that? It was, that was, that Bart? It was Quagmire. Oh, that's quite I can I forget your Quagmire sometimes. It has this like <laughs> Quagmire, you need to leave now. The noise the coming. The noise is coming. He'll be home any minute. You need to go. He can't see the pizza. He can't. Quagmire, you need to start the podcast. Did Joe meet the Noid on Family Guy? Ryan, really? you have to look it up and oh put it on God. the screen. Okay, real. okay, hold on. You people are crazy and wacky and cuckoo. The Noid did show up, but like he was murdered. He he was murdered. No, it was, by uh, it was Adam West. Yeah, Adam West murdered the Noid. Huh. Adam West. Can I do that? Adam. You could try it. What does he say? Uh, why doesn't Batman dance anymore? That's my best. That's a, that's that was pretty close. <laughs> Thanks. But, uh, the that was such a whimsical Adam West. <laughs> like in, in, what do you mean in terms of <laughs> a Joe <laughs> credit card? The one, <laughs> like there was something very whimsical and elderly about Adam West's appearance in The Simpsons in that clip because he's just like looking around. And it's like looking around cutely aloof. There's something so. So real, like it's like looking at something completely elderworldly. Like they even change up the camera angle a bit when zooming in on him. Just, just watch uh -huh. the clip. Just talk to me. Are you talking about like the, the Simpsons? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Do you want to hear my meatwad voice? I was doing at two a.m. last night. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hear this. Oh, but I'm talking about, we gotta, we gotta go to the grocery store right now. What are we talking about? If you go to the grocery store. That's pretty. Uh, uh, that was very gurgly. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like Simlish a little. Charge <laughs> over! No, I can do can it. I, I can do it. Uh, oh, hell, Shrek. Let's grab the popcorn, Mom. Grab the, grab the, <laughs> grab the popcorn. Grab the popcorn, bro. <laughs> Meatwad, do you have the popcorn? I got a, I, you know, I got it, man. I got the butter right here. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't continue this. Bit. <laughs> Meatwad, you have to leave. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, you have to leave. Right. Oh, no, I can't do a master shake. Nobody can do a master shake. Nobody Dennis can. Nutter, well, that was like the first thing he ever did, and that's like he has a career because he sounds like that, and like nobody else sounds like that. Nobody, did nobody did else can do the. Like nobody could do a Dan Snyder voice ever. He did it for like can't. Jake. He did it for like uh, Gaspacho. Hey, Chowda, yeah. it's me, Gaspacho. You see, it's impossible. Chow. Uh, Chowder. I no. I I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do it. No, I'm not gonna do oh, it. We'll, we'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. The little guy has a mouth on him, I think. That's too <laughs> bad. No, 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 to to me. Me. What's going on in here? <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> I that, was, that was like the only April Fool's thing, and I was legitimately like happy about. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad. Because if you weren't happy about it, then I'd kick you out the show. Exactly. I, you would have never had me on the show. Didn't Frolic's VA die? I don't think he no, did. Uh, he did. Happened, but... No, he got kind of more screwed over by adults so much what happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. Okay. <laughs> um, Paris? Frat? We're about the Paris this whole town? Unbelievable. There's about the Fry. I guess it just says Fry. Fry! We've been under Paris the whole time? Fry! <laughs> That's in the, in, in, in the pilot episode of Futurama. When they go to old New York, yeah. under, under... <laughs> New York, we've been above New York this whole time. <laughs> Whoa! <Whoa. laughs> All right, uh, we've reached the part of the show where we take viewer questions. So if you have a funny question, have we? I didn't even talk about Mortal Kombat. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, you you, you talked about Mortal Kombat. We dedicated like twenty minutes to your Mortal Kombat <laughs> bit. We're moving on. Okay, nobody's gonna know if I liked it or not. Sorry. Do you have any questions for us? Give us questions. Yeah, this is the question part. When will Bernie Sanders be on the Ready to Start podcast? Yeah, Bernie! Is that you? Bernie! <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on. Let me. I can get Bernie for us right now. Do you want him to be on? Yeah, get star Bernie. Yeah, hold on. What's the most obscure piece of cartoon slash gaming trivia that you know? Well, I just want to say... Oh, no. <laughs> We have an infrastructure in place, and we, we are not supporting the working class sufficiently. We need, what we need to do is, we need, we need to renew Infinity Train. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. Thank you for the input. That's kind of a hard question. Uh, How do you, like, most obscure? I feel like I know I a know. few, uh... I know a lot about, like, Mario plus Rabbids production I haven't seen really anywhere else, and I know about this, like, yokai who was, like, scrapped and isn't very well documented anywhere. I know about that. Uh, something I learned recently on that topic um, is, it's, this is about the Kirby anime. Mm -hmm. I, well, I don't know how obscure this is. I don't really know much about his production, but I read somewhere that the last episode of that show... Um, like, the showrunner of the Kirby anime is, like, I think his, like, wife died or something oh, like, while they were making that. So he had to, like, leave, and they pretty much, like, I think he left, like, before he finished writing it. So everyone else working on the show, like, didn't know how to end it. So, like, the last episode has a lot of, like, filler in it because of that. Oh, yeah, There's yeah. Trivia. I feel like I learned something yeah. very recently, like that was very obscure. I didn't see anyone talk about it ever. I forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. Here's well, the, that's uh, the thing with obscure. Here's the uh, yeah. like Trivia. yokai who was like in a magazine once and was supposed to be in a movie that never appeared in the movie. There's, there's that yokai. So that is, I hear a lot about these yokai, and I there's so many of them that I get overwhelmed. Yeah, like what the heck? Like yeah, it's been going on for so long. Like what? You're gonna have a yokai based on a gun next? Like what's next? You're gonna have a yokai I, I, based I, on trash? Yeah, I mean, but I think both those already exist. So <laughs> okay, uh, well there you go. For me, is that in the Michijo intro that they feature a short clip of like like a bit that doesn't show up in the show where like the principal is wearing a wig. It's like some of like, there was, like, a wake segment where, like, his hair catches in a fire, and he refused, like, he acknowledged it, but he refused to do something about it. And it didn't show up completely fully in the show. And, like, I didn't know that until I read the manga. 
It's like, wow. Wig? Wig? Yeah. Like, they do mention the wig in the show, but, like, the there was a segment where, like, the principal's wig, the toupee gets set on fire. Wig fall off. Wig. And, and it only shows up in the, in the intro. Hmm. Hmm. Right? What about uh, you, Aaron? Did you uh, have any... Me? I don't know. I, I know a lot of shit about kaiju. And I watched a lot of kaiju movies. And I know um, Shin Godzilla was like... Shin Godzilla had a thing at the end where they had like a... They had a bunch of humans coming out of the tail. And they had... They were planning to have even more forms for him. And then I was like... I think that was... I would love to see more films with those uh, little Godzilla humanoid fuckers. Mm. I would love to see more about that. But that's all I really know. Uh, Wander Over Yonder is coming to Disney Plus next week. That's cool. I'm glad that show's finally getting put on there. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking waiting for that. I've been having to deal with YouTube. Watching it on YouTube. Somebody asked, like, uh, what's the obscure most, like, just the most obscure, like, rare thing you own? Oh, you probably have a lot, Ryan. Uh, I didn't bring, like, Yokai Watch up again. I have this, like, rare medal that was given out at a convention, and only, like, a hundred of them were made. I have I have that. That's probably uh -huh. one of the more rare things I own. I, I can get a picture of it on screen. I can look through my stuff real quick to tell you too. Let me see. I rare obscure thing I own. I guess for me, I have like Comic Con. I have a lot of Comic Con stuff. Like there's like this map of Ooh they gave out one year. Ooh. Like there's like a there's like this fake gold medallion of like Finn and Jake that I got. It was pretty cool. I I I'll, I I have. I have a box, like a tin box of cookies, um, from specifically the Kirby. There's like this Kirby pop-up store, the one based on like trains. Yeah, it's like a train station aesthetic thing. Um, I've heard of that one. I think that's actually still like active, so I guess that's not too obscure. Um, but from like the first wave of that, I was in Japan for it, and I got like this box of cookies they were selling, and I never opened it. <laughs> Um, and that was three years ago. Well, almost four years ago. It was the 25th anniversary. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna eat those when they announce a new Kirby game. <laughs> awesome. For me, for me, I own like like a Nietzsche. I guess a Nietzsche art book. The production book is pretty rare, but I also say like this little postcode. The Nietzsche postcards I own. I own like one of them. Which like mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to be honest here. The rarest thing that I have in my fucking room is my like my wallet. Is it a rich wallet? No. It's not even a it's not even a good wallet. I don't have anything rare. I don't really have anything rare. I, I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't pick anything up. Hold on, uh, I was taking a picture of that thing I owned because I couldn't find an image of it online, so I'm just <laughs> I was gonna put it on screen so I had a picture. Wow. So I, cause I can, I can show this. I have a few like rare plushes too. I I have a Kelly toy Luigi, which goes for like a hundred dollars now, but uh, it's like broken, so it's like worth nothing. I, I have a very rare uh Animal Crossing like DS plush. I have one of those, which is uh another kind of one of those high seller ones. Uh, I, I guess I have the I guess the funny one is I have the Wii Fit Trainer amiibo, which is like a super rare one, and I only got it because I thought it'd be funny to own a Wii Fit Trainer amiibo, then became rare. <laughs> But anyway, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing I got that was like a convention exclusive in Japan, and they only made like cool. they only make a hundred of them. It's got that little thing you like on it, that little creature. A little creature. A little creature. Creature. <laughs> Someone wants to know what does Bane think of Mortal Kombat? Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I've always been an outsider to the series. Uh, I, it was really the gamer during its peak, you know. Oh. But it was, it was something I always knew about, you know. Uh, so, uh, when I found out there was this new movie coming out... Uh, I hate this joke! Uh, <laughs> 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 this is my least favorite joke. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you, like it? you have to like it more. What about... You would rather be doing... You'd probably rather be doing the thing where you, like, mention all the YouTubers watching the crudes. Yeah, <laughs> that was really that. That's under this. Hey, that hey, is under this. hey! The Runaway guys—they're doing their like their donation stream soon. This is a perfect chance to ask Chekka Conroy what he thinks of the crudes too. 
Are we gonna raid? Is this like gonna raid? raid? I'm gonna raid now. I'm gonna donate like fifty dollars to their like donation stream and type check a Conroy. What do you think of the Croods too? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> All right. Any any more questions? I, there's a lot more questions. Like, do you hate the Loud House? Um. Yeah, I we hate already that. talked about that. I hate that little bitch. Yeah. We all hate it. We all hate it so much. Rosa, do you hate it? Fuck it. Rosa, do you do you hate do you hate the Loud House? Do you? Nothing interesting going on. Just say you hate it. Just that, say you despise it. Come on, just say you hate it. You hate the Loud Please. House. You hate Lonnie Loud. You hate Luna yeah, Loud. You hate Lena Loud. You hate Lulu Loud. You hate Lala Loud. You hate Luigi Loud. <laughs> Luigi Loud? I can't dislike Luigi Loud. Yeah, you're making it hard now. What are the Casa Grandes? They're all okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Yeah. yeah, they all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, favorite so this... Fall Guy ship? Fall Guy ship? How am I supposed to ship them? You people are ups literally obsessed with asking me questions about shipping the bean characters from these games. Do they ask you that, like, every day? Every day! <laughs> well, you haven't answered them. I don't know, you know, I don't know what to answer! Ryan, there's only one way this can end. What? Favorite crossover. What is your favorite crossover? That's a good question. Fine. Thank you for the good question. That is a good question. Oh, okay. what, cross what crossovers have there been? Uh, there's only like across all media. There's a lot. I guess, uh... I mean, I'm a yeah. known fan of yeah. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for Nintendo Switch. Mm. That's one of my favorite games ever, so... Good one. It's a good one. I think, I think I'll have to go with... Um, uh, crossover Nexus. I'm, or, I don't know, OKKO okay, okay, had some good crossovers. I would like think the about Sonic it, crossover they did. The, the other yeah. night, like, uh, Teen Titans Go does a lot of crossovers too, but maybe just because I like OKKO okay, yeah. more, but uh, I like all the OKKO okay, crossovers way more than the Teen Titans ones I've watched. Hmm, did you see the Freakazoid one? Yeah, I don't the know. I don't know. That show's writing style just isn't very funny to me. Uh huh. Yeah. It's sort of just like well, I'm sort of, it's, I sort of just look at it at this and like, wow, that's going on. I, I, I feel like that cat and Oro is like, the mm -hmm. fuck they doing over there? Are you all <laughs> favorite rabbit ship? Next, no. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You gotta have one. You gotta have one, Ryan. Aaron, Ryan, you have one. No, one. Aaron, Aaron, what's your favorite crossover? Okay, so this isn't really a crossover, but um, Sonic X, like, they took. Like they they on model they took Magira and Mothra from like the Godzilla series they line for line piece for piece it was just Magira and Mothra and I've, I have an, I have an image of Mothra and Magira right here. Oh my God, let me Sonic X. Let me see them in Sonic X. Yeah, Sonic X. Favorite Lego Dimension ship Velma and Shell from Portal. Good one. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, hold uh, on. Put this on screen. That's just Magira. Now nah, let me get Mothra too. It's weird because as much as we talk about Smash Bros, I like honestly wouldn't say Smash Bros. Yeah, I, it crossed my mind, but um, I mean, I it's it's one of those things where maybe I'm like kind of numb to it, you know? Yeah. Honestly, because it's just been out for so long. It's just something everyone kind of knows. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a given that you know that Mario and Sonic are gonna fight. Well, which is interesting. Yeah, it kind of goes without saying. It, it needs no mention, really. I, I think part of it, too, is when I think of crossovers, I definitely think more of kind of characters interacting type stuff, and Smash really isn't right. that. So I like, uh -huh. I like, I don't know, I don't think about it in terms of like. You have the codexes! You have the, the, the codex! You have like the, the Palutena talking! I barely yeah. counts. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like more crossovers I like, because I, li I like a few. Um... I like when Don Chen was in Yokai Watch. That's one. Oh, I liked when uh, when Reimu, Kirby, and Jabanya all met in Don Chen. They all met in their uh -huh. game. Yeah, that was funny. I, I like when uh, Amechi was in Mario Kart, the arcade one. Oh yeah. I when Captain Planet was in OKKO. Okay <laughs> That's right. What? He was. Okay. Yeah, that episode is just straight up. It was actually Captain Planet, and he just exists in that universe. 
I like that. I kind of like that show's like premise that all the heroes in the world just kind of exist in this universe. Yeah, <laughs> like Sonic's there because uh, yeah. of course he is. Captain Planet exists in this world. I think they're gonna have Mega Man. They're gonna have Mega Man. They had like Space Ghost at one point planned. They're like just all the heroes across all worlds exist in this world. I think it's a funny idea. Uh huh. Uh, Simpson Rama. Or Bender was in the basement. Now, can I ask you a question? Did you really like that one that much? I, I liked it. I thought it was I whatever. Mean, it was like. I it's said, okay, I said, it said, it said so mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like it was like after Futurama had ended. It was just like a nice little like. Yeah, I get. It's it no, true. Again. Okay, I, it was, you want more Futurama, and there sweet. you go. More Futurama. And there's, of course, the Family Guy Simpsons crossover. Oh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom. That's a good one. That was, it was really good. And then, like, MCU happened. Simpsons mm -hmm. guy feels like it was such a huge thing. And, like, now nobody gives a shit. Yeah. It's weird. I thought it was the hugest thing when I was, like, a kid. I was like, whoa, Homer and, and uh, Peter Griffin. I think I'm more specifically remember people, like, hating hating that episode, like, so much, and now no one really cares. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, I, honestly, there's things I like about it, mm. and there's things that just really don't work. Because it is, it's, like, written by the family guy. Yeah, you can tell. Writers, <laughs> yeah. um, there's a lot of really off-color jokes that just don't mix well. They don't fit the Simpsons. Well, one thing yeah. you pointed out that I thought was interesting is uh, the Simpsons is usually like, composed in a more interesting way, like, artistically, than Family Guys in terms of, like, shots, like, shot composition. And there's a lot of, yeah. there's a lot of three-fourths angle Simpsons doing Family Guy hand shots in that episode. It's funny to look at. <laughs> yeah. Um... Same beer, same show. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good video. That video's honestly funnier than the whole actual episode. <laughs> it is, it is better than that. And it came out before it happened. Yeah. It really just, like, same plot, but like funny. <laughs> yeah. Me family, you family. I thought it was I feel funny. Like, a lot of the uh, Simpsons it, guy. Like, it like oh. happened. I was gonna say it, 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 that that parody also came out a bit after the aftermath of like Brian dying. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. My God. <laughs> like the you use like the shot like the Brian rest in peace Brian Griffin tattoo. Oh uh, man, imagine the alternate timeline where Vinny the dog meant <laughs> meant Homer. Uh, imagine the possibilities. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Imagine <laughs> Homer meant in Italian. I mean, Homer yeah. would be very confused. Imagine. He'd be like, oh, I don't know Italian." You think Vinny would go to the the, the Luigi's restaurant? He'd yeah. Like, hey. No dogs on the table. Luigi is such a. Like, are my people. Luigi from The Simpsons, such a D tier Simpsons character. I mean, I, I guess so, but like, I mean, you know, sometimes you just gotta have like an Italian restaurant guy. Not that all he is. Luigi He's the like chef. The sea Luigi the chef is of the same tier as the yes guy. And the sushi guy. And the sushi guy. You know what my yeah. favorite crossover is. Uh, ready to start the podcast episode where Nintendo appears. Wasn't that epic, guys? That was insane. If we're back on the Nintendo stream. Yeah, I, 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 we, I didn't have a we didn't mention him yet, so I thought I felt we needed to. All right, that I'll guy. I hope Nintendo doesn't show up on the show for like at least like another year. <laughs> we just funny. keep talking about. <laughs> When's the Arlo episode? I was thinking about this the other night. I thought it'd be funny if I don't think we'd ever do this. I think it'd be weird. But like having Arlo on for an E3 episode. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I would be just should. bashing Arlo with chairs. To be no, honest. don't do that. Why not? Bash him. I had a soft. <laughs> I couldn't do that to him. I couldn't do that to him. Is that like a? When, it, when next time it comes on, we should have like a time skip design for him. <laughs> a time skip? Like Nintendo. we're in a dystopia now? Yeah, yeah. He should have like an eye patch and like he's like he has like a beard now. Yeah. He's like yeah. forty years old. We're still like in our twenties though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that it's like that my life is a teenage rom episode where they launched Sheldon into space and he became like an old man. Oh yeah. Sheldon, is that you? It's me, Jenny. It's oh, me. I like this one. What would your time skip designs be? Yeah, I 
I I did I made when I was like a kid in like the Wii years, um I made a me of myself, like what I imagined myself to look like when I was like older, like twenty something probably I think. Um and I gave myself like like a big like disco afro sunglasses and I had like a like a uh like a soul patch. Um I just looked like a different person. Um, and looking back on that is funny because, like, I don't like anything like that. I, I've kind of look the same. I, something about yeah. thinking about what I would look like when I'm older is weird to think about because I am older now. I'm 22. I don't know what to think about. Like, I don't know. I'd look the same with, like, more wrinkles, I guess. Yeah, I feel that way, too. I, I thought of myself as, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be badass when I grow up. I'm going to do everything right. But no, I didn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna look like a girl boss. Babe, I have great news about you right now. Yeah. Yes, but like level like level 40 girl boss. Five star girl boss? Yeah. Remember that was gonna... remember that was the big meme of the week was like girl I don't know, what was it like level four? That's like the three G's. No, That's like geek geek girl boss. No, no, that, no, no, no. Was it the, the, the mafia? mafia? The mafia one. Yeah, like oh. level one, like <laughs> thug, and then level ninety nine mafia. Yeah, I can't wait for Ray to start the podcast shadow side. That'll be the time skip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll have like an Ed's World future. Thing. Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a, my what my skeleton future? will have a, eye patches in both eyes. <laughs> All right, oh. I, th- I think I think we've reached the end of our. F- Funny. Very funny, very so, funny, very funny. Anyone have any final thoughts? Yeah. Anything they want to say before we end off the night? Butter. Ooh, Peak baby. Peak baby. Peak baby. Peak baby. No, 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 no. Peak baby. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. You're not dying. Oh, no. No, no, peak baby, peak baby, baby. Last thoughts, thank you for having me along. Oh, thank you for being oh, yeah. on. Yeah, no, I'm gonna jump on you and you're gonna fall down. Oh, why, do you, right. why do you keep pouncing on me? Are you trying yeah, to kill me? Like, you get back up five seconds later. Yeah, you know, because dragons make a funny noise when they fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that. that one. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, good night, everyone. Good yeah, night. join us. Join us next time when we talk about Mitchell's versus the machine, which comes out tomorrow. And so does oh, new. Yeah. And so does new Pokemon Snap. Another great episode. Where we're one day off to any news. Awesome. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>